Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on your Storm 5 weather forecast. News Channel 5 meteorologist Henry Rothenberg with you. Thursday, record warmth, upper 70s, but Friday will be a different story. Let's head over to the smart screen. We want to talk about the changes that are heading in, and it starts with the rain because we do have a cold front that's heading this way, and that's what brings the changes for Friday. You're looking at exact track overnight, often on shower chances, but really during the morning rush on Friday uh, through a good chunk of the morning, that's when we get the front itself to slide through and the rain will be heaviest. Looks like it'll start to taper off, though, by the time the kids are getting out of school Friday afternoon with some clouds still lingering across the area. Pretty windy too. That wind flow is going to shift from a strong southwesterly flow to a cooler north uh, westerly flow. Looking at exact track temperatures, you can see the numbers falling as the front slides through should be in the 40s by the afternoon. So this is a bit confusing when you look at not only the high or the low for tonight, but the high for Friday 59 and falling and 59 will also go down as that high likely at midnight for Friday and then the temperatures plummet down into the 40s by afternoon with the rainfall and that strong northwesterly wind. Next three days going to be pretty chilly with still some rain chances on Saturday at 47. Southerly wind flow is a warmer wind flow. That's back on Sunday. We're in the 60s lows in the 30s. They're going to rebound to the 50s though and it looks like it'll be mild heading into next week including Monday, which is President's Day, but you're going to have to deal with some showers and maybe even a rumble of thunder possible for President's Day. Thanks for checking out your forecast. Join Leland starting at 4 a.m. on News Channel 5 this morning. We'll have more for you then.